In this video, we're going to look at an interesting exponent rule that at first feels really weird, but when we think about where it comes from, it makes a lot more sense. And that's an exponent of 0. But to set up the exponent of 0, I first want to look at a cubed over a cubed. Now, a cubed in the numerator, we know means a times a times a. And a cubed in the denominator, we know means a times a times a. We also know that from fractions, we can divide out an a, another a, and another a, and everything's gone. Now, be careful here. When everything divides out, it doesn't mean there's nothing left. We're dividing, and when you divide, you'll never end up with an answer of 0. If we do a divided by a, we end up with a 1 in the numerator and a 1 in the denominator. Everything divides out to 1. Everything divided by itself is 1. We end up with 1 over 1, which reduces to just the number 1. But what's interesting about this is we've seen this thing called the quotient rule before. And the quotient rule says, I could have, in that original problem, instead of setting this up, just subtracted the exponents. Which means if I had subtracted the exponents, 3 minus 3 would have given me 0. So I might have said the answer was a to the 0 if I had done that. Both ways we solve this are fair ways to solve it, which means both these answers must be the same. In other words, the 1 is the same as a to the 0 power. This is the 0 power rule. Anything to the 0 power is always equal to 1. It's the most simple exponent rule, but it's also probably the most missed because people want to say the answer is 0. And that's not true because we're not multiplying by 0. We're saying the a's have divided out completely, and all that's left is 1. So in example 1, when we see 5, x cubed, y, z to the 5th, and that whole thing is to the 0 power, that means this whole thing is going to simplify to just 1. Anything to the 0 power is 1. In a more interesting example, 3x squared, y to the 0, 5x to the 0, y to the 4th, x squared, y cubed, each of these pieces that are to the 0 power, the y to the 0 and the x to the 0, really reduce to just 1. Which means as we're simplifying and we multiply the numbers, 3 times 1 times 5 times 1, all that we're left with is 15. For the x's, we add the remaining exponents, which is just the squared, and the squared gives us x to the 4th power. And for the y's, adding the remaining exponents, 4th power and 3rd power, gives us a total of 7 y's. We end up with 15 x to the 4th, y to the 7th. Anything to the 0 power is always 1. 